So today was announced, and they're attending. Will not be the new OMB director. Now, and the president's embattled nominee to lead the Office of Management and Budget. Let's go to our senior White House correspondent, Phil Mattingly. Uh, what are you learning, Phil? Well, Wolf, the White House plans to withdraw Neera Tandon's nomination to be the budget director. That's according to a senior administration official. This obviously follows uh, several weeks now of going back and forth as to whether or not she'd be able to get the votes. One Democratic senator, Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia, already saying she would not vote for her. He cited overtly political statements, most notably uh, Neera Tandon's Twitter feed before she was the nominee. And the administration has been working hard behind the scenes, Tandon included, to see if they could get one Republican on board to support the nomination, focus primarily on Senator Lisa Murkowski. Murkowski met with Neera Tandon in, in person, has been talking to administration officials, had not yet committed. But, Wolf, you also just had Senator Bernie Sanders on, the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee. He has not committed to supporting the nomination up to this point. The if Bernie said he would vote for her, she might have still stayed in. Ah, thank you, Mr. Mattingly, for mentioning what a lot of the critics of Bernie Sanders won't mention. Bernie Sanders, I'm the chairman of the Senate Budget Committee. He has not committed to supporting the nomination up to this point. The White House fought and fought hard. They made clear they were, quote, in the words of White House Chief of Staff Ron Klain, going to fight their guts out for this nomination. But now they have decided to withdraw the nomination. Wolf, I would tell you, the deputy nominee for the position, Shalonda Young, a veteran Hill staffer, has a lot of bipartisan support. The expectation is she would be a top candidate to take the nomination uh, when Tandon is polled. But right now, no word on that. All we know for sure is Neera Tandon's nomination will be pulled by the White House, Wolf. Yeah. Now, this is a comment from Neera Tandon herself. She says in her letter, I appreciate how hard you and your team at the White House has worked to win my, my confirmation. Unfortunately, it now seems clear that there is no path forward to gain confirmation. And I don't want to continue consideration of my nomination to be a distraction from other priorities. And I have the utmost respect for a record of accomplishment, her experience in the council, and I look forward to having her serve in a role in my administration. She will bring valuable. Bra, 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 bra. <laughs> Kobe. So she's out of there, Johnson. And uh, I, for one, am not the least bit sorry. The amount of sympathy I feel for Nero Tanner could fit on the top. That's, damn, that's a big pencil point. This pinpoint is too fat. I'm not a fan of the Nera. But I would like to put out, there were other swamp creatures in the Joe Biden administration. I don't care. I don't want Nera. I don't want Nera near me or near the White House. Isn't it rich how Joe Biden talking about he's going to put her in a position anyway? Yeah, you go ahead and put her in a position. As long as he don't have power, you know, yeah, just put her somewhere else. Stick her in a corner somewhere. And here's the thing, guys. We so seldom get what we want. Did I think that the whole idea behind this, I don't think Joe Biden likes Nero Tandon. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just guessing. I mean, I, it doesn't, look, I have no way to prove this. This is just a theory. But I believe that this is all smoke and mirrors, guys. This is all a distraction. Throw some raw meat at us. Get us off the scent of the other swamp creatures that are sneaking in the back door. You know, guys, you looking at the front door, make a noise, throw a rock. Oh, what's that noise? What's that rock sound? Something's bouncing around in there. And while we go in there to check out that rock, oh, God, it's near a tandem. Throw a rope over, throw a, throw a blanket over it. Drag it out of here. And while we're focused on near a tandem, it's like five or six swamp creatures making their way into the back door, Johnson. Bombs dropping in, in Syria. It's totally selling out on the minimum wage. All types of trickery and fuckery is going on. So I don't put none of this past the Biden administration. Joe Biden has managed to be in to be in DC for 40 years and do absolutely nothing positive. So don't put it past him to try to do more unpositive things or more negative things. A positive is not a word. We're not sorry about Neera Tandon not getting a confirmation, and it kills me, Jones. It kills me, Johnson, that there are people with the pouty face. Neera didn't get confirmed. You know, you know what? 
I'm not so confirmed that you are actually progressive. Nor am I confirmed that you give a damn about policy. Neera Tandon is a class enemy. The Center for American Progress is a corporate shell company. Allegedly. Because they will sue. She's petty. Read the tweets. One of the things about this before I go, guys, I got to mention. The story I told you about, about Neera Tandon is true as best as I could uncover in the brief amount of time I was able to do the research, but I'll tell you this. It's something about the Democratic Party. There's something about the elitism, the elitism. It's something about the corporate control over the over the uh, the direction the party goes. That even a poor little girl named Neera Tandon, who came in with the came in with the best intentions of, you know, being a civil rights activist. Well, actually, she was going to be a civil rights activist and decided to become a corporate political animal. Um, But even her was transformed into this ruthless villain. Some people say, you don't change the Democratic Party, the Democratic Party changes you. But some people have made the Democratic Party what it now is. And Neil Tanner is one of those people, right along with John Podesta, the Podesta Group, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, and the list of neoliberals, neoliberals goes on and on. If you didn't want Neil Tanner to be in, your, in the Biden administration, at least in an official capacity, in a nominated position, take a bow, feel good about it. I'd say rejoice, because this may be one of the few times you get a chance to. You heard? All right. Give it up for that. Let me ask you something. Do they know us? When I say they, I mean the talking heads on cable news. Do they know you? I mean, they talk about the world as if it's a sport. They play political games, report on our pain, rack our brain to feed the stock exchange, but do they know us? Do they know what we care about? Nope. They're too far away. They can't see us. They can't feel us. They can't relate to us. See, when you want to know what's going on in your world, trust someone who lives in your world. Subscribe.